The intertidal zone is comprised of four parts, the spray zone, the high intertidal zone, the mid intertidal zone, and the low intertidal zone. Also called the upper lit littoral, the supralittoral fringe, the spray zone is the highest zone above the high intertidal zone, and it is where the ocean meets the terrestrial zone. Organisms in this sp sparse habitat include barnacles. Barnacles are small saltwater animals with protective shell-like coverings. There are more than 1,000 species. Barnacles can attach themselves permanently to ships, wharves, and rocks, and to other marine animals. Barnacles on the hull of a ship increase friction and can reduce the vessel's speed. The ship must then be put in dry dock to have the bottom scraped. To prevent barnacles from clinging to ships, the hulls are either treated with toxic paint containing tin or copper or uh, coated with plastic. Young barnacles hatch from eggs and develop into free-swimming larvae that resemble tiny crabs. The young barnacles secrete a glue-like substance and attach themselves to a suitable surface. They slowly change into jelly-like creatures the size of small marbles. They then secrete layers of calcium carbonate, lime, which may be yellow, red, purple, or brown. The barnacles' legs stick out like tentacles from an opening in the top of the shell. At their tips are cirri, feathery appendages that sweep plankton and other food into the mouth. The most common barnacles are gooseneck barnacles and acorn barnacles. Human fishing has lowered ocean biomass and reduced nutrients in the ocean, thus reducing barnacle populations. Next is the high intertidal zone. The high intertidal zone is a harsh environment for plants and animals to live in. It is exposed to rough waves during high tide and hot sun during low tide. Plants and animals that live here need to be able to survive the rough waves and the long periods of time out of the water. Many have special features that help them survive, such as shells. The limpet is one of them. It is a shell-like critter that can get up to more than 7.5 centimeters and has a round, low profile. It is usually black or brown with areas of white on it. The owl limpet sometimes has patterns on its shell. This limpet has a large chestnut brown area at the top of the inner surface of the shell that resembles the silhouette of a great horned owl with, it, with its ear tufts extended. This limpet sits, sits clamped shut on a rock all day and at night goes around exploring and munch on ova or similar seaweed. Human gatherers have traditionally used owl limpets as a food source and currently limpet populations are on the decline. Rockweed also lives in the high intertidal zone. Rockweed can be found on rocks that get washed by waves in the high tide zone. It is a very delicate, delicate plant. Its fronds are very long and sometimes rip off, rip off the rock. These fronds can reach up to 35 centimeters long and they are usually green. The rockweed is a home for many animals like crabs, sea slugs, isopods, and sea stars. The rockweed normally grows in the same area as the sea lettuce, but the difference between the two is that the sea lettuce is very slippery and the rockweed is not. The next zone is the mid-intertidal zone. The mid-intertidal zone is the most active intertidal zone of them all because of its fully covered and uncovered each day. As the middle intertidal zone is covered and uncovered, the high and low intertidal zones are not covered and uncovered each day. Oh, shit. The... The next zone is the mid-intertidal zone. The middle intertidal zone is the most active intertidal zone of them all because of its fully covered and uncovered each day. As the middle intertidal zone is covered and uncovered, the high and the low intertidal zones are not covered and uncovered each day. The middle intertidal zone is 50% underwater, and an example of an organism that lives in the middle intertidal zone is the black turban snail. The black turban has, snail has a high bluish blackish shell. It has a pearly layer underneath. The diet of the black turban consists mostly of pretty soft seaweed. They are found in dense clusters that may go up to hundreds. During winter storms, they are knocked into the floor where they fall prey to sea stars. They use scent and touch to distinguish predators from other marine animals and move away if necessary. Another animal of the mid intertidal zone is the ghost shrimp. Ghost shrimps live in deep parts and crevices of caves. They are not common, but very striking when they are found. The ghost shrimps are burrowers in kind of muddy or sandy sediments. They can also live in crevices underneath rocks and coral. Since these animals burrow, they are important to this ocean's environment. Ghost shrimps are sometimes used as bait by fishermen. The female ghost shrimp carries developing eggs attached to some hairs on their heel pods or stomachs. 
populations are on the decline with human use as bait. Deep down the bottom of tidal pools is the low intertidal zone. It is a special place for special animals. For example, why do you think a sea star lives in a low intertidal zone? The sea star and many others live in the low intertidal zones because of the, it, these precious animals cannot be found in the sun for too long. The low intertidal zone is mostly water at almost all times. In fact, this intertidal zone gets 90% water and only 10% pure sunshine. That is why you can find many intertidal plants and animals living there. Sea stars live in the low intertidal zone. They are endodermans, a type of marine animal that is spiny-like, spiny-skinned. There are about 2,000 species found in all seas and most often near rocky shores. Starfish typically have five or more tampering arms radiating from a central point. The mouth is in the center in the underline. Extending from the mouth to the tip of each arm are grooves lined like tube-like feet. In certain species, the, fi the feet have suction, suction discs. The starfish uses its feet to crawl along the ocean bottom. When an arm is lost, the new one soon grows in its place. Most starfish are brightly colored. Red, orange, yellow, and pink are common colors. They vary in size from less to half an inch, 13 milliliters, to across to more than 4 feet, 1.2 meters. Starfish feed mainly on such invertebrates as coral and selfish, especially clams and oysters. Starfish with suction discs uses them to hold and force open the shell of seashells. Once it has opened the shell, the starfish extends its stomach membrane from its mouth, inserts themselves into the shell opening, and secretes digest digestive juices that break down the selfish body into a form that can be absorbed into the stomach membranes. Starfish without suction discs allow, swallow their prey whole and eject the parts that are not digestible. Starfish are not eaten by humans.